we have been waiting on news regarding the next DLC in Hunter Call of the Wild, and finally today, we got some in the form of a YouTube trailer for the high caliber weapon pack coming March 12th to the game. So those are some pretty impressive weapons, and I spy something in there that was on my Call of the Wild wish list back on Christmas Eve. We'll get into that in a second, but we're going to start with the same order they went in, with the Strandberg 10 gauge shotgun. I believe that SA is semi-automatic. I don't know if that's what it means in the name of the gun, but it is most certainly a semi-automatic shotgun. You can see that in the actual design of the gun. That's going to be really interesting. We don't have a 12 gauge semi-automatic. So going from just the 20 gauge to a 10 gauge, that could have massive implications, primarily for waterfowl hunting, but look at the classes for it. Obviously it's got birdshot. I'm not sure if it's gonna have buckshot and slugs or just slugs, the 49 kind of confuses me. I'm thinking maybe it could just be slugs. Imagine like three charging Cape Buffalo or something like that. Being able to just take them out with 10 gauge semi-automatic slugs that could actually be a really good defense weapon as well, and it may find extra utility there. Then we have what is no doubt going to be the handgun with the most class coverage in the game, the 4570 Yurenberg Superior. It's got the same classes as what the lever action 4570 could take, 4 to 9. I mean, bring any loadout you want, whatever combination of shotguns, bows, 22, whatever, slap that thing in there, and you are basically set. 4 to 9 and a handgun that's going to take out very little space in your loadout, I think that's actually going to really open up a bunch of different options. And reading on the little post they made about it, it does have the adaptable scope mount, same as the 243 handgun that we already have in the game, meaning we can probably put the Argus and the Hyperion scope on there. A 4570 round and being able to dial in with a scope like this is going to be really, really crazy. So it is a single shot pistol just like the 243. And we know how insane handguns are in this game, but it's the same as the 243. It's firing the rifle ammunition out of that handgun. So the only thing I I'll really be interested to see outside of that stuff is the zeroing. We can zero out the 200 meters with the 243. If we can zero the same distance with the 4570, that's actually better zeroing and a better scope than what's on the lever action. So it'll be really interesting to see what we can do there. But that is a potent round coming out of a sidearm that is probably going to take one, maybe one and a half units of your loadout space. That is insane. And then finally, perhaps inspired by the 300 blackout idea on my Christmas Eve Call of the Wild wish list, the Arzina 300 mag tactical. That is going to be insane. We already have the 300 canning magnum, obviously, and it is a crazy weapon. Put that in an AR. I think if you are a moose grinder, a black bear grinder, if you haven't gotten your great one yet, you might have a new weapon to use to try to get that. According to the post, this is melding the flexibility of the AR platform with the long range power of the 300 Magnum. I am highly doubting that we're going to get a new ammunition. I think it's going to fire the same ammunition as what we already have for the canning. That is going to be crazy in a semi-automatic weapon. Usually when a new weapon pack comes out, there's one kind of star of the show. I would say beyond a shadow of a doubt, the 300 AR is going to be that. But all these weapons, I think they're going to have really, really major uses. And that is cool to see out of a weapon pack. So we know this is going to be $4.99 US and there is five new cosmetics in the pack as well. We got to see those at the very end of the trailer. Some pretty cool looking stuff. And man, between the weapons, the cosmetics... This may be the best 
non-map DLC we've seen in quite some time. Game shaping, really good weapons, I think things that everybody's gonna like to use, and I cannot wait to try them out on March 12th. So just a quick little video going over all that stuff in case you guys haven't seen it. I know I missed it for a couple hours, so I wanted to cover that today. There is a video dropping later today, by the way, a real life hunt, so kind of fitting, I suppose. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.